Hello and welcome to another edition of our DTI Weekly Update, brought to you by the College of Media and Communication. I'm James Greenhaw. And I'm Jacob Strutton. Each week, DTI brings you highlights from the previous week and news on what's up ahead for Texas Tech Athletics. First, let's have a look back at the Red Raider football team at Jones AT&T Stadium. Congratulations, Texas Tech students. You set a new student attendance record in the game against TCU, 16,092 to be exact. The previous record was set just last week at a little bit below 15,000 against SFA. The first touchdown by Tech came in the opening drive. Running back Kenny Williams hauled a 50-yard touchdown pass from Baker Mayfield in just a minute and nine seconds from kickoff. Later, Ryan Buston would score a three-point field goal to stretch Tech's lead to 10-0. TCU slowly crawled their way back in the second half. The Horned Frogs make it 10-all after a field goal in the third and a touchdown in the early fourth. An injury would sideline Mayfield in the fourth, but this allowed Davis Webb to lead the rest of the way. Webb would throw a 19-yard touchdown pass to Bradley Marquez for 17-10 lead. Buston seals the deal with a three-point kick. Texas Tech comes out victorious with a 20-10 win over TCU. Texas Tech is now 3-0 overall, 1-0 in the Big 12 play, and is currently number 25 in the national AP polls. For the first time this season, Tech fans were able to catch their cross-country teams in action. Both the men and women collectively outran their competition held at the Meadowbrook Golf Course last Friday. Texas Tech women finished the 5,000 meter race with 37 points and five runners in the top 15. The Lady Raiders were led by Charlene Nickel with a time of 19 minutes and five seconds. On the men's side, Kennedy Kithika remains undefeated in his Texas Tech career. The Kenyan native finished the race cruising with a time of 24 minutes and nine seconds. Texas Tech cross country will hit the course again next weekend to compete in the Cowboy Jamboree in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Last Friday, the Texas Tech volleyball team hosted the Lone Star Showdown inside the USA. The Red Raiders opened the tournament with a 3-0 loss to Montana and a 3-0 victory against Nevada. Tech Volleyball took another 3-0 loss to Cal State Fullerton on Saturday. And our DTI Play of the Week goes to number 11 wide receiver Jakeem Grant. Check it out. A surprise came in the first quarter with this amazing play. Baker Mayfield drops back, finds Jakeem Grant, and he leaps in the air for this one-handed catch. Here it is from another angle. And that makes our DTI Play of the Week. This weekend, Red Raider football will be the only team for Tech competing at home. Tickets for the game against Texas State have officially sold out. Fans coming to the game are encouraged to wear white to support Texas Tech and celebrate the cotton industry. Kickoff is set for 6 p.m. and will be televised regionally on Fox Sports Net. Tweet us during the game using hashtag DTI and your tweet could make it into our next weekly update. And this has been your weekly DTI sports update. Thanks for tuning in. This Friday, we're coming back with our Season 2 premiere of the Double T Insider. You won't want to miss it. And make sure to like the Double T Insider on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For James Greenhall, I'm Jacob Strutton. Have a good week, everyone.